You guys, I need help. Look, I have a bunch of pallets on the floor. Ignore that stuff. Um, I don't even have space for them. I'm kind of throwing you guys into this, like, in the middle of it. The other night, I started going through, like, blushes, bronzers, and highlighters. And I need help. So you guys are going to help me. Um, for the most part, I use cream products. Cream bronzer, cream blush, cream highlighter. But I have a ton of stuff pulled out because if I put them into my backup drawers back there, it's like a makeup graveyard and then the products never get used. So I like to keep them nearby so that they kind of get used, but they still don't get used as much as they should. I just need help. I need like a whole new setup because this just is not working. But we are going to go through this stuff, declutter, organize, and figure out somewhere to put this stuff. Do I even need that stuff to be out? Probably not. But let me put you guys on the tripod and we will start. I don't think I'm gonna start with this drawer. She's in pretty good shape. These are like the cream products that I use a lot, palettes that I use a lot. The drawer that drives me crazy is this one. I have all these products in here and I never touch them. So let's, let's begin. Okay, so like I have all of these NARS blushes. It's a whole mixture of stuff. I never touch this little bin. The only NARS product that I use on a regular basis is hot sand and I have that in my top drawer. So let's look at these and see what we want to keep out. And my hand is still broken, so I'll try to keep her out of the way. You know she likes to be center stage. All right, so we have like this one. Never use it. Oh, I love that pink blush. That one I... I uh, like when I look at them, I'm like, oh, I need to keep these out because I might use them. This is why I was putting off filming this video because I can't open Jack. This one is Bumpy Ride. This was a limited edition one. It's really pretty though and I'm super into pink blush right now. We can't look at all of these. Deep Throat. Like I haven't worn this in probably two years. That one I can put away. Uh, Gilda. This is a gorgeous one. Ooh. Look how pretty that is. Oh, such a good blush. I'll keep her out. This was from the Man Ray collection. How long ago was that? But I am really into like bright blushes right now because if you put them on like super lightly, they look so pretty. Definitely keeping this one out and I will be wearing this this summer. Guaranteed. Uh, Luster. This used to be one of my favorites. But, oh my god, I don't ever wear this anymore. It's almost like too light for me now, and I don't even know how that happened because it used to be a favorite. I'm going to put that one away. Uh, Misconduct. This used to be another favorite, but like right now, I'm, like I said, really into bright blushes, and I feel like I'm not going to wear this. So I'm going to put it away. Uh, Madly, another one that, oh my god, I used to wear this all the time, but like to look at that right now, I'm like, I'm not gonna wear that. My needs have changed. Uh, this is from the Sarah Moon collection, Isadora. This one is gorgeous. I'm gonna keep that one out. So pretty. And then we have a few bigger ones. We have Hot Sand and Laguna, which I'm gonna keep out because I don't have a big Laguna. So I will grab for that one. Oh, we have another hot sand in Laguna. Are you kidding me? Actually, I'll use this one first because I've already hit pan on the hot sand in there and I will put that guy away. Hot sand and orgasm. I mean, how many hot sands do we need? But that's the only orgasm. <laughs> that's the only orgasm that I have. <laughs> Oh, so I'm going to keep it out. Hmm. Fort de France. This one's gorgeous. I just, I don't ever wear it. What do I want to do with this? No, I'm going to put it away. 
and then double take. I have no idea what this is. Oh shit. I just dug my fingernail into it. Oh, that's gorgeous. This is a really pretty one. Oh, I should have popped my ring light over here because you guys aren't going to be able to see any of these swatches. Okay, so that's good for NARS. Let me get these out of the way and then we'll go through the rest. Okay, so in here I have cream products, like cream products that are mostly in like tubes. I don't know. Um, I have NARS Hot Sand, which I love to put on my body in the summer. I'm going to grab my ring light. Hold on. Okay, is that a little bit better? A little bit. Okay. Um, so, I love hot sand. This looks gorgeous on the body. Like, in the summer when you're tan. Look how beautiful this is when you blend it in. It's a little bit too luminous for me to put on my face because I'm oily, but oh my god. This is one of the most gorgeous liquid illuminators you will ever find. I bought like two of them. Oh my god, probably like two years ago. But this one I just opened eh, like maybe like eight months ago. Hopefully it's still good. It smells fine, so I'm keeping it. This one I kept and I think I've used it maybe two times. It was the collab that L'Oreal did with Camila Cabello. Sunlit bronzer in medium deep. I never wear this. I never freaking wear it. I squeezed out way too much. Let me put a little bit over here so you can... Like, what am I going to do with that? Oh my god, it's so pretty though. Wait, do I want to... You know what this reminds me of? The Drunk Elephant um, Debronzei. That is a little bit more luminous. It has like more gold to it, but that's gorgeous. I'm keeping it. Okay, this Maybelline one, Perfector 4-in-1 Glow Makeup. This is supposed to be a dupe for the Flawless Filter. I don't know, you guys. I think I used it like a handful of times. I mean, it is really pretty, and I do think it looks very similar. I think it's a little bit more like greasy feeling. Like, what am I going to do with that? I want to keep it, though. Like, the the cream lover in me wants to keep everything. Uh, the Marc Jacobs Dew Drops. These are incredible. I've had these forever. I will not get rid of them. I don't care. Number seven, Skin Illuminator. I don't know what the color is on this one. I I've never worn it. Let's look at the color. Maybe I can get rid of it. Oh, shoot. It's like, hold on. Oh, that's so pretty. Look how pretty that is. But I don't really use liquid illuminators on my face, but oh my god, that on the body would be gorgeous, like when your collarbones. Oh. I'm keeping it. <laughs> I'm freaking keeping everything, okay? And then I have the LA Girl Luminous Glow in Sunlit. This is also beautiful. Look at my thumb. She just always has to be in the shot. This is so, so, so pretty. Like, how can I get rid of these? They're so, so, so gorgeous. I'm going to keep this, okay? I feel you all with your judgy eyes. Shannon Bedore. Makeup Forever Ultra HD Soft Light in number 30. That took me 15 minutes to finally get some squeezed out. I just have a problem. These are so pretty. I just, how could I get rid of that? Oh my gosh. I want to wear that as a liquid illuminator on my face. Like just where I would highlight. Oh, that's so pretty. And then this Wander Beauty Catch the Light. Uh, this one is in Celestial. So on the one side, you have a cream highlighter, which is really, really pretty. It's a little gold for me, but once you blend it out, it's really pretty. And then on the other, well, not on the other side, but once you take this little tube off, you have a absolutely... <gasps> 
Why did that much come out? I can't do this, you guys. I gotta stop production. I can't do it. Wait, let me wipe some of those away. I just, it's so hard doing things with this stupid brace on. I love this formula. It's so thin, but it's so glossy and shiny. I just can't bring myself to part with these. So we're keeping all of them. And then I have a little baby Max strobe cream that I'm keeping. But do I need all of these at my fingertips? Like I feel like if I put them away, I'm never ever gonna use them. So I feel like they should stay. And then I love this blush. It was a limited edition one from MAC in the shade Linda. <laughs> that name just trips me out. Like who thinks to name a blush Linda? It was from the Robert Lee Morris collection. Hold on. It's so pretty. I hate this packaging though. It's so big and bulky, but I, I love this blush. And then we have some bronzers. I don't ever use these. I always use a cream. This LA Girl one is really good. Really, really good. Matte bronzer in the shade Back to the Beach. The formula is just so nice on this. It feels high end and the color is perfect. So I feel like I wanna keep that one out. I love a glowy bronzer, so I have like the Sugar Rush one in Sun and Fun. So pretty in the summer. I have the limited edition Victoria Beckham one in Java Sun. I mean the packaging, the product, everything, like the component is just so stunning. I can't bring myself to put it away. Too Faced, Becca, Tarte, Smashbox, Ofra, Too Faced, the Butter Bronzer, I have some MAC matte ones that were limited edition. My Dollar General one, this is probably the one that I use the most. Uh, toasted Bronze Sunstruck Marbleized Bronzer. This is beautiful. Formula is so nice, the color is really nice. I have my Tom Ford one. This I like to use in my crease. This is in the shade Terra, spelled the same way as my Terra. This is a great one. But I don't need all of these to be out. So what should we do? I think I can put away uh, these two MAC ones. I don't use very often, but I know if I put them in my backup drawers, I'm just not ever going to use them. One of these I use, one I don't. Oh, never mind. this is a blush. Oh my God. Okay, that I can put away. The shade is Into Eternity. I thought it was, I have two of these matte bronzers. This one's Canyon Dream and I'm pretty sure this one is, yes. Look how gorgeous that is. Canyon Dreamin' and the packaging one of the best packagings that Mac has ever done. I also have this mini Kevin Aquan duo that I always say I'm going to use, but I, I never do. Okay, so we'll get back to this drawer. Let's dive in to this one. So this is a whole mixture of blushes, bronzers, and highlighters. Very few bronzers are in here. I have, like in here I have products that I love that I use all the time. So I have Hot Sand, I have two Becca bronzers, this Pixie one I like to use on my inner corner. Same with this limited edition ColourPop one. This is in Horse and Carriage. I show you guys this all the time. It is the best inner corner highlighter. A dupe for this would be Benefit, what is the name of it? Um, hold on. Cookie. We'll get to that though. And then I have my Bare Minerals bronzer in medium. This is the Invisible Bronze. This is such a beautiful, soft bronzer. I love it. 
And then I have my Burberry blush that Erin got me for my birthday. It has no name on it though. It just says blush palette, which you know, I love when Burberry just doesn't even give us the name. How sweet of them. Gorgeous. I have my Omrizi Anastasia highlighter and then YSL number no. seven blush. The best like orangey peach blush. Oh, stunning. So those are the powder products that I grab for the most. In the back, I have some palettes that I actually do use. This MAC one I just threw in here. This was a limited edition one from many, many years ago. But I have like my Charlotte Tilbury Duo, the Film Star Bronze and Glow, um, NARS Bonk Bonk, Bonk Disabled. This was limited edition many years ago. It's my favorite thing in the world. This little Dollar General one that is surprisingly, not even surprisingly, because Believe Beauty is so good. It was like my standout brand of 2021. Look how stunning that is. Let me just give you one little swipe. The formula is so glossy and incredible. Amazing. Cloud Nine Luminizing Glow Trio. You need. I have my ambient powders from Hourglass, this old MAC one. I don't even know if you can still get this. Ethereal Glow. This is like the gold one. There's a gold and a rose gold. And then this Stila Trio that I don't think you can buy this in the Trio anymore. This is the Starlight Starbright Highlighting Palette. And I use Kitten in the middle. It is gorgeous. Like you want glossy and thin formula, amazing. So I definitely need to keep all of those out because I love, those are my most favorite palettes. Like, I guess most of them are like highlighting palettes, aren't they? Hmm. But those are my faves. Then I have some little minis in the back. I have a few Jouer minis. I have two Laura Geller highlighters that I never use. These are all highlighters, so we have a bunch of Becca. I don't need all of these to be out though. I know I wanna keep this one out, which is Berlin Girl Glow. This was a limited edition one. It is one of my favorite Becca products ever. The color is so unique. It's subtle, it's like icy, but it almost has like a little bit of blue to it. It's amazing, stunning, gorgeous. Oh, the words that I'm going to overuse so much in this video. Vanilla Quartz. This one's very similar to Ice from Jouer. I can't get it open. But I don't use it very often, so I can put her away. And then we have Opal from Becca. This was my very, I think this was actually my first ever highlighter. I've had this actual one right here. Oh God, for so many years, but I, I will not get rid of it. I feel like this formula is different from the formula now. Very subtle differences, but this one is on another level. But it's very gold and I don't wear it very often. I'm gonna put her away for a while. And then we have Champagne Pop, which I love, but I feel like this Champagne Pop is different from the first one that I had. I don't know why I feel that way. I feel like they changed their formula just a little tiny bit. I mean, it's still so good. So I'm just gonna keep this Becca one out, Berlin Girl Glow. This Revlon Skin Lights one, gorgeous drugstore highlighter. Formula is so, so, so nice. Oh, I think I'm gonna keep that one out. And then two from Ofra. Oh, this one's gorgeous. Milk and cookies. This is one. <laughs> Milk and cookies, don't you love it? <laughs> Girl, can you get out of the way? This is beautiful. One of my favorite Ofra highlighters. And then this one is their newest, second newest one. Not the most recent. Sugar cookie. I mean, it's so pretty. And then this uh, Jouer, what is this called? The All Over Face and Body Highlighter in Molten Glow. Amazing on the body. Uh, Whisper, 
Whisper, Soft and Gentle from MAC. I was gonna say Whisper of Guilt, oh my gosh. And then After Sex Glow from Wet n Wild, another really, really good highlighter. I think I wanna keep all of those out. But then I have like all of these MAC blushes here that I never, never use. So I'm gonna, we're gonna put some of these away. Eternal Sun, I'm gonna put her away for a while. Uh, Warm Soul, I use, I'm gonna keep that one out. Spellbinder, I'm gonna put that one away. And Melba, I'm gonna put that one away also. This is one of my all time favorite blushes, the Burt's Bees Blush with Bamboo in the shade Bare Peach. This blush formula is comparable to any high end blush. Probably my most used blush. Uh, this Honest one in Foxy, I also really like. I'm gonna put her away for a while though. I've been using that one for quite a while. Two from Charlotte Tilbury. So we have Pillow Talk, which is the one that I use the most. I'm definitely gonna keep that one out, so pretty. This one I don't use a lot. This one is Sex on Fire. I always say I'm gonna use it, but I just never do. Doesn't it look like a boob? <laughs> So I think maybe I can put this one away for a bit. Uh, the Pat McGrath Blush Without Caution, is that what they're called? No, Skin Fetish Divine Blush in Desert Orchid. This packaging is so hard to get open. I regret buying this color. I love the formula, but I wish I would have bought like the bright pink one. I may buy another one because I do love this formula, but as you can see, I do not need any more blushes. Uh, the Dollar General one, Galavanter. Stunning. Keeping out. I still love Papa Don't Peach with all of my heart and soul. I just can't bring myself to put it away. I love it and I still use it. And then the Samantha March and Ofra Blush Duo in Chiclet. My most favorite Ofra blush ever. This is so good. Whenever Samantha March collabs with Ofra, it's going to be a bomb product. I love her shades. Like everything that she chooses is wonderful. Oh, we have a visitor. What are you doing? Why are you sneaking around the house? It's all right. So then over here on the side, I just have my little Buxom blush in Seychelles, which is gorgeous. And then I have two Milani blushes. We have Luminoso, which is one of my all time favorite blushes. And Petal Primavera. I was going to say Pasta Primavera. Nicole, really. I mean, in this day and age, you never know. So they're going to stay out as well. Um, I didn't do that good. What about back here? I think we might be able to do something with what's in this little container. It's like a whole bunch of stuff that I just don't use. So these two Laura Geller. We have Gilded Honey and Peach Glow. Do y'all remember how hard I used to go for Gilded Honey? They're beautiful, both of them. So beautiful. I think I have to keep them out. Oh, I don't know, I'm torn. That's gonna be a maybe. I, oh, I do have a little Nars Laguna. I forgot I got that from Sephora for something. Um, a little Dolce Vita from Nars. Gorgeous color. I should put this with my NARS stuff. I'm gonna do that. And the Laguna. And then this Kiko Long Lasting Wet and Dry Eyeshadow in number 208. This I have had, hold on, I can't get it open. I've had this thing for so long and to this day, it's one of the most gorgeous highlighters, eyeshadows, like the formula is just really, really good. Why don't I use this? Why don't I use this? Look how pretty that is. You can tell that it's just gonna be good. I'm gonna put that with my eyeshadows and then maybe I'll use it. Cause I don't, that's a little dark for me to use as a highlighter unless I was really tan. It's a little bit more gold than I go for for like a day to day highlighter. But that would be a gorgeous eyeshadow. Um, I have. Two from Jouer. We have Ice and Citrine. These are my two favorites. 
ice, just the formula on this, I just, I have no words. Look at that color. Tell me that's not one of the most gorgeous highlighters you've ever seen. It's such a unique shade. I need to use that. I need, I'm going to put that somewhere so that I use it like every day of my life. And then citrine. The only complaint I have about these is the formula is so fragile and it's always citrine. My big one is broken. My little one is broken. I'm going to set her down because that looks like it's about to fall out of the dang pan. But just feast your eyes on that color. Oh, so good. I have this ColourPop Luster Dust in the shade Gnome. It's beautiful. I, I just don't use it. Let me open it and we'll see what we think. Do I want to keep this out? I kept it out with the best of intentions because it's so pretty. This would actually be a really, really nice eyeshadow. Sorry if I keep going like on and off camera. I'm doing my best with this one hand. Oh my God, look at that. I don't know if it's picking up on camera, but it has sparkle in it that is so pretty. Oh, that's gorgeous. I'm gonna put that with my single eyeshadows. That needs to go in my eyes right this second. That needs to be on my eyes. Oh, that's so pretty. Oh, oh my gosh. And then this sleek blush in the shade Coral. It's so pretty. That's really pretty. I'm going to put that somewhere so that I use it because that's a really, really nice color. And I have not used that in a very, very long time. Okay, so what have we figured out? Not much. This can go back in here. Oh, and a random Glossier Cloud Paint in, what color is this? Beam. These are nice. They're not my favorite, but they're nice. I should put that with my creams. Um, I'm just gonna drop him up there with my creams. We're gonna get up here in a second. Okay, interjecting from the future. I was just editing this video and realized that the entire time I was showing you guys this top drawer, it was out of focus. So that's why my nail polish and outfit is different because I'm having to refilm this part. Okay, we are on to the top drawer, which is my most used drawer. These are the majority of my cream products. This is like my favorite. These are all my favorites. I pray that this stays in focus. I couldn't tell that it was out of focus when I was filming it, which is lovely. Okay, so these are all creams other than my little Hourglass Luminous Light Powder that I use a lot. So she lives in here, and then I have my two... Chanel sticks, one is a highlighter, one is a bronzer. They are gorgeous. So the highlighter is in the shade Sculpting. It is so incredibly gorgeous, I can't even tell you. And this is considered a blush, but I wear it as a bronzer. It's like a super warm bronzer. Number 20 is the shade. And I will give you swatches, of course, look at that highlighter. I mean, I love the bronzer as well, blush, bronzer, whatever, but this highlighter is so pretty. Now it's, I would say it's more suited for dry skin because the formula is very like emollient. It's, it's very close to being greasy, but it's not. It's just very dewy, a very like luminous, not even luminous, it's such like a dewy look. When you have it on your skin, it almost looks wet. It is so pretty. Now I can't put this like on my brow bone or anything because I would be an oil slick, but I can wear it as a highlighter. Sometimes I'll top it with a powder just to kind of set it, but I do wear it by itself. It is amazing. If you want a highlighter from Chanel and you like cream products, sculpting, you freaking need it. Oh, it's gorgeous. And then we have the Merit Highlighter in Kava, which is actually a very similar look to the Chanel one, but this one I would say is better suited if you're oily. The shade is very similar. Now that's a strong swatch, but I do think they're very, very similar on the skin. The Merit one is not, it doesn't have that like greasy feel to it. It's not as dewy feeling. It's stunning. So if you're more oily, go with the Merit one. If you're super dry, the sculpting from Chanel, but either way, sculpting from Chanel, oh, it's just so good. 
but I do love me some Kava. She's she's a great, great highlighter. I wear it a lot. And then my two big fat boys from Milk. Did you guys know that they're no longer doing this size? You can only get the little mini ones, like the travel size, and they're $20. Are you kidding me? That is such a rip. So this is work. She's beautiful. I'm so sad that you can no longer get the full size. Like, why is that? I saw it on TikTok and I was like, that can't be true. Because this is my most favorite bronzer. It's the Milk Bronzer and Baked. It's my absolute favorite. It's the one that I wear 99.9% .9 of the time. It's so good. I'm not buying that little travel size. I want my big daddy and this one's almost empty. I'm so sad about this. That sucks. Milk, you screwed up. People want the full size. Tell me down below what you guys think. Do you not care? Or are you sad also? I'm gutted. Oh, I have another, oh no I don't. These are M Cosmetics. So I have a bronzer from M Cosmetics in the shade Terra. Why do brands love to name bronzers Terra? Why is that? I do like this one, but it's a little bit dark for me. And it's a little bit difficult to blend. Sorry if I'm on and off camera so much. It's hard with this brace. Like that shade is gorgeous, but sometimes it's a little bit too much for me. And on the face, like that blended like a dream, but on the face I find this sometimes a little bit difficult to blend out. So it's not one of my tops, but I do think it's nice. I really like the blush. And I just love this packaging. It's like so simple and pretty. So this is the blush in... Lychee, lychee, still don't know how to say it, but it's really pretty. And this in the summer is gonna be, oh baby, that was a really strong swatch, but you can get the color. Oh, look at that color. Love the blush, would say maybe skip on the bronzer, I don't know, maybe you would love it, but for some reason, sometimes I just have a difficult time with it. The Wander Beauty, this is a duo, On The Glow Blush and Illuminator. So the blush is in the shade Bare. I don't wear the blush a lot, as you can tell. It's um, pretty much brand new. I've worn it like a handful of times. It is really pretty. I need to start wearing this more because if it's the same formula as the highlighter, which I'm pretty sure it is, like the Wander highlighter is one of my absolute favorites. I wear it constantly. This is like top two all time. It's in the shade Nude Glow. And there's the bronze, a bronzer. Wow. There's the highlighter. This Wander Beauty Nude Glow highlighter is top two for me. It's probably the one that I wear more than any other one. Such an amazing formula. But I need to start wearing that blush because it's really pretty. But the highlighter, yes, a thousand percent. Nude Glow is this shade. I can't say enough good things about it. I have a little What's Up from Benefit Classic, and I have three little baby guys. This was a little set from Rare Beauty. I think they had this out over the holidays. Hope, Peace, and Bliss. Hope is my favorite. The Rare Beauty blushes are stunning. If you're wanting like a more liquid blush, which that's kind of terrifying, but this formula blends out so well. This one's in the shade Grace. This was a little sample that I got somewhere. Starting to really get into this color. Is my camera focusing? My two Tower 28 blushes. Yes, yes, a thousand percent yes. If you need a good cream blush and you want something that's very easy to work with, Magic Hour is my favorite. It's this gorgeous like movie shade. Oh my God, you guys, I can't say enough. I can't say enough. It's so good. It's so good. Let me give you a little swatch. You need to see this color. It's so pretty. It's like the most perfect pink and it just always blends out. It, it's so good. And then the more orangey one is Golden Hour. Yes, try them, they're so good. Uh, the Pixie on the Glow Blush in Juicy, also a really good blush, I like that one. I have a little Hourglass Champagne Flash. This is not one of my favorites though. I always hear people like rave about these, it's so tiny. 
but I don't know. I feel like the formula sometimes just like sits on top of your skin and it doesn't, it doesn't look like it's like melted in. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's not my favorite. My all time number one most favorite cream blush is the Honest Blush in the shade Truly Exciting. She is truly exciting. I love this blush. Tower 28 would probably be number two for me. Honest is number one. This is always my go-to. I feel like this formula is very, very similar to the Tower 28. I There's just something about this one. I love it so much. It's just so easy. If you're a newbie to cream products, this one. I got this on Amazon. It just says Honest Cream Blush and Truly Exciting. Because I've seen other people with Honest Blushes and they're in different packaging. Not sure if this was like a limited packaging, but it's the best. I also really like uh, Merit's blushes. At first, I wasn't sure about this because it's a very soft blush that you almost have to build up, but really, really nice formula. This one's in the shade Beverly Hills, and I love the packaging. It's so cute. Hold on, sorry. This is a disaster. Get out of the way, thumb. Look at that gorgeous color. And it's a very, like, dewy finish, but not greasy whatsoever. Sorry, this is such a weird angle. I love Merit Beauty. They had sent me their line not too long ago, and I think I liked everything. I love their mascara on my lower lashes. Oh, so good. Everything they do, I'm trying to think if there's something I disliked, and I don't think that there is. Also, side note, if you need a good brush, the Merit brush is really good for cream products. It's very similar to my Hourglass brush, the Vanish brush, which is my favorite one. Yeah, the Merit one's really nice. So I have a few Jouer cream blushes, insanely good. These are just always reliable. My favorite is Parasol and Coquille. Am I saying that right? <laughs> Don't you know? Um, Parasol is this guy right here. Look at that. Just look at that sheen. And then this is Koki. Oh, God. Amazing. Amazing. Can never go wrong with UA blushes. They're just reliable. They always just blend. The colors are always good. Packaging's always gorgeous. Y'all know I love me. Whoa. Hold on. I love me some UA. I'll put my code on the screen if you guys want to buy some Jouer. And then I have my Benefit box blushes back here. We have Cookie, which I talked about earlier in the video. I think y'all know what she looks like, but for the inner corner, oh, ho, ho. yes. I have California, my little hula that has my name on it, which I think is so cute, and then Dallas. Chanel Soleil Tan de Chanel, you guys. This is so freaking good. I love this product. It's such a weird product because it's not a powder. It's a cream, but it's like a very dense cream. Is that even the right word to use? I don't know. This blends out on your skin. I have so many products on my hand right now. Hold on. This, <laughs> it's just falling everywhere. This blends out on your skin so beautifully. So easy to work with. I hate the packaging, like it's so massive, but it's also gorgeous. Yes, yes, a thousand times, always yes. Where did the top go? Oh gosh. And then I have this little RMS Magic Luminizer. And this was not my favorite. I heard so many people rave about this. The reviews are insane. Yeah, it's dried out already and I haven't had it that long. It dried out like I swear a month after I got it. Not my favorite. Uh, you saw the Glossier one. I have two puff paints from Natasha. These are nice. Um, they're not my favorite, but I think they're good. But there's a lot that I would choose over that. A recent buy was this Flower Beauty Gel Crush in the shade Raspberry Crush. This is gorgeous. I'm going to use this in a video to show you guys, but just know that it's really good. 
Um, they say this is a dupe for the Makeup by Mario cream blushes. I have one of them. I cannot find it. I think I lost it on the cruise and I'm gutted about it because I only used it a handful of times. But this is really pretty. So this Huda one, I've had this for a while. And the last time that I really used it was before I got super into cream products. This is in the shade Light. And then I found this the other day in my drawer and I was like, you know what? I need to try that puppy out again because now that I'm like such a fan of creams, I may love this. Whereas before I was like, nah, I don't know if it's that good. The shade's really nice. It's like more neutral, cool toned, but still has warmth to it. I don't know. It's such an odd kind of shade, but I love it. I don't know if I love the formula, but we're gonna find out. Oh, uh, what have we not covered? Oh, I have this M Cosmetics one. I try so hard to love this, but I don't. It's the Serum Blush in the shade Rose Milk. The formula is so sheer, it like blends away to nothing. I don't know why I keep it, it's because of the beautiful packaging. And then the NARS Liquid Blush in Luster. Probably the best liquid blush that I've used thus far. And then in the back here, I have my Hourglass palette. I use this quite a bit. I just love every shade in here. It, it's so good. And some MAC blushes that I always have good intentions of using. I just never do. But I still let them sit back there so that they just don't feel left out. And then I have three NARS palettes over here. So we have the Exposed palette, which is my most favorite NARS palette ever. The formula of these is so weird, but in the best way. They're kind of creamy, but they're still a powder I, I love. And this packaging, ugh. And then we have the, here's the packaging, the Unfiltered One palette. I grabbed this out not too long ago because I'm very interested in this shade right here. So I'm gonna see if I like it. And then we have the Wanted One palette. This is the one probably that I use the most. Ow. This one's really pretty. I love this highlighter and I just love all the shades in here. Really good palette. I mean, it was limited edition. Pretty sure you can't find these anymore, but I love them. So that's it for my favorite creams other than my three Charlotte Tilbury ones. These are so stinking good. I just, I mean, I, there's not much to say about them. They're just so good. So here's Fair Medium in the contour shade. It's amazing. I freaking love it. Look at that color. Oh, it's so good. They're so good. And then the wand in, what shade is this? Spotlight. Gorgeous. There's a reason these are sold out all the time. They're really, really nice. And then the blush is probably my least favorite. This is in the shade Pink Gasm. I'm curious to try Peach Gasm. I mean, it is beautiful. It has such a pretty sheen to it. I love how it has like a little bit of gold to it. But recently, I picked this guy up. The Flower Beauty... I have highlighter all over me. Liquid highlighter in Spotlight. Same name, same exact component. Dare I say, this might be better than the Charlotte one. I'm gonna use this in a video and show you guys. But this formula, I love. And I'll give you a side-by-side -side swatch. The formula is so thin and nice and it just melts into your skin and looks so natural but you still have that like really gorgeous like pop of highlight it was $12.99 and it is incredible let me wipe my hand off and I'll give you a side by side this is amazing just take that from this video if you don't take anything else the flower beauty freaking spotlight wand bomb I mean the Charlotte Tilbury ones are what like $45 they're expensive. I think they're 40 actually. Very pricey. So if you can find the flower one, oh, you need it. Okay, so Flower Beauty's on top. 
Charlotte's on the bottom. So you can see the difference in shade. The Charlotte one is a little bit more icy and a little bit more like in your face. Blends just beautifully. There's nothing bad to say about it. But this flower one, she dries a little bit faster. Let me put a little bit more on so I can blend it out. She does dry faster than the Charlotte one, but I never noticed on my face that I have to like work quickly with it or anything. I just noticed it when I was swatching. It's so good, it's so, so, so good. The first time I used it, I was testing it out before I filmed with it and I was like, oh my God, I can't wait to tell everybody about this. So if you can find this flower one, I got it at CVS and it was buy one, get one half off. So I got that little blush half off. Amazing dupe. Amazing, amazing, amazing. Yes, you need it. You need it. I mean, did they totally copy Charlotte down to the name? Yes. But I mean, this is $40. This is $12.99. So Hey, whatever you want to do, if you want to spend 40 bucks, go for it, but you're getting something just as good for $12.99. I rest my case. Okay, so we are officially done with this top drawer and we can go back to the past. To me in the past. You know what I mean. Goodbye. Thanks. Thanks for being here. Hopefully nothing else is out of focus or I'm just going to throw myself out the window. <laughs>